So this is something I should have mentioned in my uh, other video. So Figs recommends a PTFE or Teflon dry lubricant. I emailed them and they actually informed me uh, DuPont. It's probably the best one to go with. Um, they're the ones who I guess uh, created Teflon or invented Teflon. So this is the one I'm gonna go with for install. So uh, this should probably be done prior to install. Just so you have max range of motion. But you just uh, sort of probably shake up the can a little bit first. And then just sort of spray it on there. Get around to the other side. Spray it on there. And sort of just work it in. You can see that there. Now obviously uh, I can't get the in and out range of motion. If I no. So, in terms of uh, the other direction that the bearing can face, probably just going to have to drive the car. But, uh, yeah. So get back in on the other side. Spray it on there. Sort of work it in. Then same with this end. I don't want it to drip on me, but it may not have much of a choice. We'll start with this end. out of the way again just sort of work it in there and what that'll do is it'll any road debris, anything that gets up on there, it'll give it a better chance of not sticking. And uh, also long term will help prevent corrosion as the car sits. This is a Florida car, so corrosion isn't as much of an issue, but any bit helps. Let me get this end again. And I can rotate it the other way to get the top. And pretty much just do the same thing for the other side. Just fully coat the surfaces. And as uh, you develop noise in these, a uh, squeaking or groaning sound you can just apply this as needed I may even be overdoing it here probably am but in terms of long term I don't think it'll hurt and it's the same thing I have the uh, high steer 2 kit on my uh, IS300, hopefully you can see it in there. 
I get a flashlight on there just in case. This car is pretty filthy, but that's their high steer two uh, drift version. This works pretty well. Those have a lot of miles on them and a lot of wear. So I got replacement sphericals, bearing assembly for those. And then uh, I also have their outer uh, tie rod ends that are going on the SC400. Get this one. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Just to uh, work it in there. 